Hey again, Peter Tomlinson here. Uh, this time we're talking about uh, how a piano player might approach playing walking bass lines with his left hand while playing chord voicings with the right hand. It's a great technique, especially if you're playing like a jazz duo uh, setting. Uh, please don't play walking bass lines if you already have a bass player. The bass player probably won't appreciate that too much. So um, you should be looking at two handouts. Uh, one that's called Three Walking Bass Lines, and the other one is called Easy Bass Patterns. And what I'm going to do with this uh, tutorial today is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to expand on what's written here for the Three Walking Bass Lines, and I'm going to play uh, B-flat major 7 for two measures in this case, so that it turns into a four-bar loop, okay? So, uh, uh, I'll be combining the three walking bass lines along with some of the easy bass patterns that's on the other uh, tutorials. So please have both of those. Uh, you're looking at both of those, okay? So at the top of three walking bass lines, you can see uh, rules for our bass lines. Uh, one is that we're going to be in 4-4 four, four time signature and each chord lasts for a measure. Okay, very common. It's, you know, you're going to see it in a lot of tunes. Uh, and in each case, the root will go up by a fourth. Otherwise, these bass lines don't really work that well. Um, we're always starting on the root. Uh, uh, jazz walking bass lines is, a, is a, an improvisation art form. So, you know, a good bass player knows many ways of walking a bass line. doesn't always have to start on the root. But for us, it's going to be a good place to start. Okay, and then uh, we're going to maybe try swinging it a little bit, uh, adding a little grace note here and there to push it a little bit, um, just to make it sound a little bit more swinging. Okay, so uh, if you're, you're looking at the three walking bass lines sheet, you'll see the first system, we're calling that number one, the second system we're calling two, and the third system we're calling three. Okay, Th three different approaches. So for the first uh, bass line, uh, we're walking up the scale, in this case in the key of B-flat, um, and for the 2 and the 5 chord, we need to add one chromatic note. For the minor 7th chord, as we walk up, uh, we need to put the chromatic note after the 3rd of the chord or on the 4th step of the measure. Okay, hear how natural that sounds? Okay, then for the F7, we're going to put the chromatic on the third count of the measure, or leading to the third of the chord. Okay, we're not inventing anything here. This is just, these are really tried and true uh, walking bass line ideas. Okay, and then um, to round out number one, I'm going to combine that uh, with an easy bass line, easy bass pattern, just walking straight down the scale for two measures. Um, on, the, on the easy bass patterns, everything is written in for the key of C, but uh, think of the intervals, okay? So as we're going through those, don't just look at the letter names that are written in the bass clef. Look more at the, at the intervals that are written above the notes, okay? So let me see if I can uh, demonstrate this one, okay? Uh, and play along, all right? Have your keyboard, have your chart, play along. One, two, three, four. Okay, a loop in four measures, the first walking bass line. Uh, okay, so play, replay that several times, be able to play along with that, uh, play it in different keys, uh, and really get acquainted with all of these. All right, the second system, this is walking down. Here we don't have to add any chromatic tones. Uh, we're just going to walk straight down uh, the bass, uh, the scale, but starting on the C root, okay? So here's walking down the B-flat scale starting on C, and I am going to combine uh, measures two and three of the first uh, line on easy bass patterns. One, three, five, three, one, three, five, one. Again, we don't, we're not calling them easy bass patterns for nothing. Okay, here we go. Welcome straight down the scale. Two, three, four. Finally, we're 
going to do the, the third bass line. This is up the triad and then approaching the next chord. On the sheet, you'll see that I've approached from above each time, all right? So on the C minor, we can go C, E flat, G, G flat to F, A, C, B to B flat, okay? Um, in this case, for B flat, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna look at the second line of easy bass patterns, second and third measures, second line, second and third measures. I'm gonna do the sec second measure of the second line first because that's got an approach note back to the root. Okay, so up the triad and approach note. Here we go, one, two, three, four. follow my rules one two three approach yeah I did okay all right so those three bass lines uh, for uh, a two five one progression and then adding um, easy bass patterns for a two measure a chord that lasts for two measures a really common thing to happen also all right and then at the bottom of the page um, this next most common chord progression that you're going to encounter in standard tunes and jazz tunes a one, six, two, five. Uh, here, just like in Tenor Madness, we've substituted a dominant chord for the sixth chord, uh, so we're calling it G seventh instead of G minor seventh. Um, and it's something jazz players do frequently. Uh, if you are harmonizing a melody, sometimes the sixth dominant could clash with uh, a prominent melody note. So be cautious with that, but uh, that doesn't mean that you couldn't substitute it during your solo, okay? So that's something that's pretty commonly done also. Okay, so here we're just using, um, in the first measure, I'm, I'm looking at the bottom of the page of three walking bass lines. Uh, we're using an easy bass pattern. This is actually one, two, three, five against the, uh, the B flat major seventh, but I'm doing something that bass players do pretty frequently. I'm changing the register. Instead of going up to the fifth step, I'm going down to the fifth step. It's going to, uh, it's going to be a nice intervallic sound, and it's also going to connect with the G. And then I'm using up the triad and approach for G seventh. I'm using down the scale, uh, or the second wa walking pattern for C minor seventh, and then I'm using wa walking bass line number one for the F seventh, up the scale with a chromatic note. Let's see how that works out. One, two, three, four. Okay, all right. So I want to touch on one other thing today, and that is um, applying these patterns uh, in a two five progression where it's a, in a minor key. Okay, so shift over to the easy bass patterns, the bottom of the page, the last two, uh, last two lines of that page. And I wanna look at A minor seven flat five, D seven flat nine to G minor. So we want our bass lines to represent the minor key a little bit better. So notice the key signature, all right? Uh, at at uh, measure 13, uh, we have two flats in the key signature. All right, so as we walk up the, um, the A minor, and I'm gonna take these these notes, uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna take them down the octave so that it doesn't collide with my right hand and it's gonna sound more bassy anyway. Uh, so A minor, the second note is B flat, it's in the key signature. It wouldn't be wrong to use B natural, that would be okay and a lot of bass players might do it. Um, but I'm feeling like that's just representing the, um, the minor key a little bit better with the B flat in it. And then for the D seventh, I'm just walking down, but I'm using that flat six, again, using the, uh, the minor from the G minor scale. All right, and then G, G minor. Okay, applying my easy bass patterns, this time to a G minor. Okay, uh, and then for the final line, uh, walking down the scale, but again, I'm thinking in the key of G minor, or you might think in terms of the relative major. Okay, if it's easier for you to think in terms of uh, B flat major, 
you might see these these notes a little bit more easily. So for the first, for the A minor 7 flat 5, I'm walking down the scale, and then I'm using up the triad approach for D 7th, and then I'm using a 1, 3, 5, sharp 7, that's a nice approach sound, 1, 2, 3, 5 for G minor. Okay, uh, here we go. 2, 3, 4. Okay, so a tune like um, uh, um, any tune like Alone Together or uh, Autumn Leaves or something like that, try your minor two fives with walking bass lines. Okay, that wraps it up, and uh, see you for the next one. Take care.